It has been a year of profound loss and suffering, a year of dehumanization and barbarism. Hostages taken from Israel remain captive, the family left in deep and prolonged distress. Gaza is unrecognizable, a sea of rubble, a graveyard for tens of thousands of people, including far too many children. Almost the entire population is displaced. People have been forced to flee multiple times, searching for safety that does not exist. The latest development in the north are especially alarming. Hundreds of thousands of people are again being pushed to move to the south when living conditions are intolerable. And yet again, Gazans are teetering on the edge of a man-made famine. Children in Gaza have not been spared. They are killed, injured, and orphaned in shocking numbers. More than 650,000 children are out of school, deeply traumatized and living in the rubble. They have already lost two years of learning. Palestinians are no strangers to loss. But to be dispossessed from education, which has always been a source of pride, is new. Madam President, beyond Gaza, the West Bank is gripped by escalating violence. Nearly 700 people have been killed in the past year, among them more than 160 children. Civilian life is increasingly militarized and settlement activity is expanding aggressively. The Israeli security forces routinely destroy public infrastructure during military operation, inflicting collective punishment on Palestinians. Lebanon is the latest casualty of this widening conflict. Civilians are paying a heavy price. Airstrike by Israel forces are killing and injuring thousands, and displacing hundreds of thousands while Hezbollah continues to attack Israel with rockets. UNRWA has opened 11 shelters in Lebanon, hosting more than 4,500 Lebanese, Palestinian, and Syrian displaced persons. 